What's up, everyone? My name is Pi, Editor-in-Chief for SRLounge.com, and in this episode of Rapid Gear Review, we're going to be going to the beach. I'm totally kidding. We're actually going to be reviewing this behemoth of an umbrella, the Fotex Sunbuster 84-inch Diffusion Umbrella, in three minutes or less, starting now. First things first, I'm not going to hold this ridiculous thing while shooting this entire video, so let me go ahead and set this down. I know a lot of you wanted me to hold that umbrella throughout this entire review, and that's just not going to happen. But the first thing I noticed when this big bad boy arrived was that it was indeed much larger than I'd imagined 84 inches to actually be. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason 84 inches didn't seem that huge. And then I got it, and I was absolutely stoked, and I wanted to get this thing on set to see what kind of wonderful scrimming potential it had. Especially because you could purchase the Fotex Sunbuster from around $150 to $220, depending on the exact kit that you choose. So at the price, it appeared to be a great value. To test the umbrella, we took it out to our recent Vintage Field fashion concept shoot, and since we started the shoot quite early in the day, the sun was still relatively high in the sky. It was the perfect situation to basically test out its scrimming goodness. And for compositional reasons, basically what we did starting out is we were shooting in the direction of the sun, or not with the sun, but against the sun, and uh, simply because we had a better background in that direction. So for several shots, we actually started out using the Sunbuster to block the direct sunlight so that we can get a much softer natural hair light. And you can basically see the difference in the hair light with and without the umbrella as in these shots. Of course, artistically, the brighter and more blown out hair also works completely fine if that's what you're going for, but sometimes it's nice to shoot with the more subtle hair lighting so that you don't have a lot of blown out highlights. In the scene, we found that with the extended boom arm and the adjustable pivoting head, our lighting assistant Tony was able to easily navigate the umbrella into a position where it would do its job and stay out of our frame. But the thing was we ran into a little snag when we were using the umbrella to scrim direct light. When shooting with the direction of the sun, we attempted to use the umbrella as we would, say, a nice scrim, and to soften and cut a bit of the light. But the problem was that it softened just fine, but it blocked too much light. Where in a regular 5-in-1 reflector scrim might cut down a few stops of light, it still leaves enough light on the subject to basically balance the subject with, say, a bright blue sky, so long as it's exposed correctly in the camera. However, the Sunbuster was cutting down so much light that it almost looked like basically full shade, or our subject became essentially too dark to balance with the background without either blowing out the background or clipping shadow detail on our model. So our thought was it would be wonderful if Fotec offered different covers or different umbrellas that featured actual ratings and the level of light diffusion. As is, we really only have the standard white diffusion cloth and an optional full black cover for basically 100% shade. However, that's not the real drawback. The real drawback that we found in the Sunbuster was its build quality. Within the first use, basically the little pockets where you'd insert the umbrella rods, they were already beginning to come loose and fail due to poor stitching. The case also tore, the carrying case itself tore right along the stitching line after only a bit of light use. Now while each of these failings is easily fixable with say tape or some hand stitching if you're actually good with a needle, it was a bit discouraging in a product that could be considered say inexpensive but not necessarily cheap at 200 bucks. Now the good thing was that we haven't had any structural failings of the umbrella itself or anything that really couldn't be fixed on our own. So while we wish the Sunbuster had a bit more options when it comes to the diffusion cover itself, it's still a very useful and relatively inexpensive lighting modifier. In fact, were it constructed a bit better, we'd easily be giving it four to five stars. Unfortunately, this item simply doesn't have the build quality for us to merit anything above three stars. So the Fotex Sunbuster, it's a useful daylight modifier that will continue to use frequently, but it's safe to expect that as an owner, you're going to have some troubleshooting and fixing will be required from time to time. That's it for our review. Hope you all enjoyed. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.